Hi there, it's Peter here again. And in today's very short video, I'm gonna answer a question which came from Namita. She refers to my simple parallax scrolling tutorial. And uh, the question is as follows. I'm trying to make one of the slides longer since I have more content on it. I'm not sure I want to actually assign it a specific height. I hope to make this responsive. And if that's the case, the length will have to be dynamic. So for instance, slide three, I want to have dynamic height since it has more content. Is there a way to do that? Okay, I've got a good good news for you, Namita. There is a way to do it and we, I'm gonna demonstrate it right now. If you've downloaded the original demo files or tutorial files, you'll see in the main JavaScript file that there is a slide variable and uh, in the adjust window function, there's a line of code which resizes every section with that class to be 100% of the viewport. So we need to remove the class from the slide we want to make dynamic. And that's going to stop the JavaScript targeting that section as well. Because there is other styles applied to the rest of the content, we'll need to do adjustments here as well. Firstly, we'll remove the HS container. And then we'll move the scroller data attributes from the BCG div to the section. Because we don't need the BCG uh, div anymore. And we'll put our dynamic content inside of here, which for me is going to be in a container and then content. And inside we'll paste the HTML of our new content heading and a couple, couple paragraphs. Because of this change, we'll need to adjust the CSS as well. So we're gonna go to main CSS and we'll need to copy the background styles from the BCG container to our slide three container. So in here, we're gonna type slide three and paste everything inside of it. And we're also gonna use the same background image as on the background diff and paste it in. We don't need this BCG anymore. We don't need uh, the rest of it either. And now we're gonna style the new content, which is our inner. And then we're gonna style the content as well, okay? For our inner, we're gonna give it some padding 100 pixels, let's say, and then the content will have a padding 20 pixels, and we give it some nice background uh, background color. Transparent black and uh, change the color to white because the image is quite light we had to do this background image, otherwise the text wouldn't be readable. Okay, so I save that, save the HTML, and if I preview that uh, now, we should see a slide three with our new content, background image, background color of the content, and the, the, the height of it is, is dynamic. So if I go back in here and multiply a couple paragraphs, you still see that the height is dynamic, doesn't is not resized based on the JavaScript, it's, it's resized based on the content. So if I go back in here and make it really, really tiny, just one paragraph, it would still it would still work exactly the same way. So we've got one small slide with the content on it and then I hate tomato's face. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's about it. Hopefully that quick question would help someone else as well. So thanks uh, Namita for sending the question through and uh, if you have any other questions yet, yeah, don't hesitate and just uh, shoot it to me. I'll try to help uh, whenever I can. Thanks, bye.